One of the biggest challenges to homeowners facing Gen Zers and Millennials is the concept of affordability, which can take on two aspects. One is monthly payment, and the other one, and the bigger one, is getting the funds to buy a house. Hi, this is Todd Baker, DFW Mortgage Master and Certified Mortgage Planner, and I'm going to share with you today's Todd Talks where Gen Zers and Millennials are getting money. And if you're a Gen Z or Millennial, how you can sort of approach your parents and simultaneously the same vis uh, video for parents and grandparents, how you can start to think about some of these concepts and how you might be able to help as well. So let's jump right in. So right now, more than a third of young Americans are using cash or family to fund a down payment. So when surveyed, Everyone's still saving money. So this is great to see right here, saving money, getting a second job. That's the old school American, old, old school America, old fashioned way you save up for it, right? But one of the things I wanna point out before I touch on the get cash gift from family is pulling from retirement funds early. So what you may not be aware of, if you have a 401k account, you can do two different things to help use that to buy a house. Number one, you can typically withdraw funds without the 10% early withdrawal penalty if you're buying a house because the way the plan summaries are written up on almost all 401ks, especially employer based, which is what they're what you're going to have, is it's going to give you the ability to withdraw for hardships, which is typically medical, about to lose your house, or need to buy a house. Secondly, you can take a loan on a 401k up to 50% of the balance for up to $50,000 and it's it's super low interest. There's virtually no administrative cost to get it done. And you're paying yourself back a very small amount of your paycheck over 60 months. You can put out over 60 months and then pay it back as quick as you can. So that way you re, you know, you're not, you still have your 401k, you just have borrowed money against it. Those are great ways to get funds. Now, the second way, second best is gift from family. And I think I showed you that chart right here. I mean, 36%. So, and I do these all the time. So first, let's talk about what a gift is. And for, for, for parents and grandparents out there, this isn't an IRS gift. It's not the kind of gift that where you take some of your, you know, your estate and you, you, you do a gift under the, the amount of transfer. This is just money given for the sake of buying home that can be paid back, but it's not required to be paid back. There's a form that gets filled out. You have to show the source of the funds. And that's about it. It's super simple. And it's a way to, to help your, your, your grandkids and your children buy a house. Now, once again, from the parents and grandparents parents point of view, I know being a parent myself, that part of what I want to create, like most of us, is a legacy for my children and my grandchildren. And how we create a legacy is through estate planning and including inheritance. And there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I'm going to give you some of your inheritance up front. I'm going to give you a little bit to buy a house and that could be 10,000 or 15 or 20,000 to share with you right now. It's widely been said, well, closing costs are around $6,000. Yeah, that's true in a certain thing, except then there's taxes and there's insurance and then there's discount points you have to pay on the loans right now. And then depending on the negotiation, you might have to pay for the title policy. Better way of looking at it is you need probably around 5% to close. There's recent changes to real estate, the way real estate is going to be transaction where buyers have to pay commissions. That could be another two or 3%. And then you're going to have your down payment, which is going to be three and three and a half percent. So they probably need 30, you know, 10%. So that's $30,000 on a $300,000 house. It's 40,000 on a $400,000 house. But if your kiddo has some savings in a 401k, they can make it work. And now to the children, this is how you approach your parents. You know, they might not have the wherewithal to do that. And that's okay. Not everybody does. If they don't, you strike that off the list. Uh, you might have grandparents, you might have an uncle. There might be a family member somewhere along the line that could help with some funds to help buy a house. So the bottom line is, is this, don't let the lack of funds deter you from buying a house. There is down payment assistance available as well. Sometimes the seller can help out. But the main focus of this and how you can find those funds. And I can tell you when you're ready to buy, usually you can find some people willing to help. And, you, and if you have a 401k, we can tap into that too and get you to the point of being a renter to a homeowner, which will transform your life. If you'd like to talk to me about this, please feel comfortable reaching out. 
I am a certified mortgage planner and I build great mortgage plans for my clients. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.